Okay, moving right along, we've got our URLs.py file, but we don't actually have any URLs yet. We don't have any other web pages to point to. So we're going to start to do that in this video. Now, anytime you want to create a web page in Django, it's basically a three step thing. You need three things you need a URL, somewhere to point the thing to, right? You need the actual page itself, the HTML page, which is usually a template. And then you need a view. And the view is this views.py file. We haven't actually done anything in here yet. The views are sort of like the brains behind the scenes. We can do all kinds of Python stuff, cool Python stuff in our views, and then reflect those things onto the web page themselves. It allows us to use Python in our app uh, on our web page, which is very, very cool. So let's go through here. And the first thing we really need is the page itself, an actual web page, right? An HTML file. And we need to put those somewhere. And where do we put those? Well, we need a directory that will hold them. So come over here to our lookup directory and click on it and then right click and say new folder. And you can see down here we can name it. So let's name it templates because these are going to be our web page templates. And when we do, boom, this thing pops right up. Very cool. So we can right click on it and create a new file. And let's come up here and click file, save as. You notice we're in this templates directory. And let's save this as, let's call it home.html. It really doesn't matter, but we're just going to call this home, right? So I'm going to do some very basic HTML. I'm going to say, uh, hello world, woohoo, <laughs> right? So now control S to save this file or come up here and hit file, save, right? And we can close this. So step one is done. We've got a template file. It's in our templates directory. And you can see, boom, it, it popped up right there. So if we click on this, there it is, right? Step two is to create a view for that web page. So come to our views.py file. And we want to define a view. So we type in define and we call this home. This is our home view. And we want to pass in a request. Right now, what's going on here is this is a Python function. It's just a basic Python function. We've named it home, which corresponds to our templates home.html uh, file. And we're passing this request. What is this? So if a person goes to a web page through a web browser, and they type in the URL, they're making a request to the server to bring back a web page. So we need to pass that request sort of behind the scenes into our function. So that's how we do that. Now, uh, there's all kinds of stuff we're going to do in our views, but right now all we need to do is sort of uh, tell, this, tell this thing where to point. So let's type in return and then a render. Notice we've imported render up here, right? So we pass in the request, comma, and then where do we want this to go? We want it to go to home.html, right? And then comma, and then opening and closing squiggly brackets. And this is where we can pass in a Python dictionary. We'll get to all of that later. For right now, we could just leave this blank, right? So if we save this, we're almost done. We've got our template, we've got our view. Now we need our URL and super, super simple. We just come over to our urls.py file, uh, the one inside of our lookup directory. Like I said, pretty much all the URL work we're going to be doing from now on is going to be in that lookup directory. So don't get confused and start messing around with this one. In fact, we can close this right there, sort of minimize it because we're not going to be doing much anything in there going forward. So now we need to create a path. And so we type in path and then two single quotation marks, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Now, where does this point? Well, this is going to point to views.home, right? That's the, the view we just created in our views home, right? Views home. And then we need to name this. So let's call this name equals, and I'm just going to call it home. Right, so let's put a comma at the end. Now, anytime we have a new web page, uh, we'll create a new URL. So in the future, if we want an about page, we would call this like, I don't know, about or about.html if we want to do that. Notice here, I didn't put anything here. Why? Well, because our actual web page here, uh, let's get rid of this. Notice there is nothing. 
right? It's just local host slash nothing. That's the home page. So here in our definition for our, our URL, we put nothing there. If we wanted this to be about.html, we would put about.html, and then here it would go like that, right? So this this thing right here that we're defining in that first little quotation mark snippet there. So I'm gonna get rid of this because we don't have an about page yet. Now we're calling views.home, which is in our views.py file in the home directory. But in order to do that, we have to actually import that into this file. So we just go from period import views. Now the period stands for right here. From this directory, our lookup directory, import this views file. And that is right here, right? Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's recap this very quickly. So first we need an actual web page. So we create this templates directory and inside of there we create this home.html file. We also need a view for that page. So we created this home function and we passed in a request. Then we re rendered that request and pointed it towards our home.html file. And then finally we created a URL for it. Here's the path, the path is nothing that points to views.home and we've just named it home and we'll see why that's important later on for creating links and things. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So now if we save all these files, come back to our main page and hit reload, boom, we see this hello world, the rocket ship is gone and we're ready to go. Very, very cool. So that's pretty much all. I know it's kind of convoluted. There's a bunch of stuff going on, three different things, they all tied together, but it's really pretty simple. After you do it a few times, it'll be old hat and it'll be really easy. There's really not much to it. And so very cool. So in the next video, I think we'll look at a base.html file and why that's so important. And that'll be in the next video.